Hi everybody, welcome to the Wellness Base YouTube channel. Today's video is a mixed level vinyasa flow class. It's quite a dynamic vinyasa flow class, so I recommend that you've got at least a few months of practice under your belt. However, this is a recorded video, so by all means, if you play it the first time and you lose track a little, then you can just keep playing again and again. And then hopefully one day you'll fully understand this nice little flow, you'll be able to do it with your eyes closed and you'll be able to do it without this video. So if you want to join me, bring your big toes together to touch at the top of the mat. Taking a nice deep breath in, rolling the shoulders up towards the ears and then exhale, lower them down. Inhale, reach the hands up towards the sky, take a back bend. Exhale, hands down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Right leg back, left leg back, chaturanga. Back bend on your inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale. Step it to the top on your exhale. Left leg comes to meet, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Reach hands high, back bend on your inhale. Forward fold again, exhale. Flatten the back, inhale, left leg, right leg, chaturanga on your exhale, back bend on your inhale, downward facing dog on your exhale, left leg lifts, inhale, step it to the top on your exhale, right leg comes to meet, halfway inhale, forward fold, exhale, reach the hands high, back bend, inhale, Forward fold on your exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Step or jump back, chaturanga, exhale. Back bend, inhale. A downward facing dog, exhale. Hold your downward facing dog. So five breaths, you can move, you can stay still. Relaxing the shoulders, spreading the fingertips nice and wide. Finding your own breath, your own rhythm. And then when you're ready, take the gaze to the hands, bend the legs, look in between the hands, reach the feet forward, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold on your exhale. Reach the hands high, little back bend on your inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Reach the hands up, bend the knees, find your chair pose. Biceps by the ears, look forward or maybe you can look in between the hands. Tailbone tucked in and under. Keep it there for two. For one. Release, forward fold or crow pose. Hands down, knees up into the armpits, gaze forward. One foot or both feet rise up, maybe big toes together to touch. Wherever you are, hold it for three. If you are proficient in crow, maybe you play with crane. So extend in the arms, move in the bend out of the elbows. One more breath. Step or jump it back, find your chaturanga. Back bend on your inhale. A downward facing dog on your exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale. High lunge on an exhale. Reach the hands high, take a back bend on your inhale. Hands down, exhale. Right leg lifts, three legged dog, inhale. Chaturanga on your exhale. Back bend, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, left leg lifts, inhale, high lunge legs on an exhale, reach the arms high, back bend, inhale, hands down, exhale, three legged dog, inhale, chaturanga, look forward, exhale, reach back bend, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. 
So option one, hold your down dog for five breaths. Option two, if you wanna take a little headstand, any hand variation, walk the feet in, keep the feet on the floor or you rise up. Lower the feet down if you are lifted. Downward facing dog, push the floor away. Take the gaze to the hands, step or jump the feet forward. Lengthen on an inhale. Forward fold on your exhale. Chair pulls on your inhale. Hold your chair pulls five breaths. Option, lift the heels away from the floor. Option to keep the heels exactly where they were. Option one, forward fold. Option two, crow. Option two, crow, headstand crow. So you might need to walk a little bit further back. Take the gaze forward. One foot, both feet, you fly. Maybe you lower the head towards the ground. Take a little lift. Come back down, toes together, knees out wide. Roll over the forehead. Maybe you refine that crow. Just for a breath, wherever you are, take it back, Chaturanga. Lift on your inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg lift on an inhale. High lunge legs on an exhale. Back bend the arms, reach high, inhale. Hands down on your exhale. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Maybe three-legged chaturanga on your exhale. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lift, inhale. Step it through, exhale. Back bend, inhale. Hands down, exhale. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Chaturanga on your exhale. Lift, inhale. Child's pose, exhale. Taking five breaths in your child's pose. If you, if you prefer headstand, dolphin, down dog. Take any of those variations. As long as you feel in control, you feel safe. Take one more breath. Finding your way to downward facing dog. So we're gonna create a little bit of a sequence and we're gonna repeat that sequence a couple of times. So we'll take the first round nice and slow. On an inhale, lift the right leg into the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hip, option to stay there or drop into wild thing, but sit bones down towards the floor. So right leg is bent, left leg is straight. On an inhale, you push up to your wild thing. On an exhale, sit bones down again. We'll all meet three-legged dog on your inhale. Extend the right leg. Step the foot through, high lunge, legs, exhale. Reach the hands high, back bend on your inhale. Warrior two, lower the heel, exhale. Reverse warrior, flip the front hand, inhale. Skandasana, bend back leg, straight in front leg, exhale. Twist to the front, twisted runners, left hand down, right hand high on your inhale, back heel lift. Runners lunge, lower the right hand, exhale. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Option, fly in splits. Hold it on your inhale, wherever you are. Chaturanga on your exhale. Back bend, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lift, inhale. Bend and stack, either stay there or wild thing, hips low on your exhale. 
hips high, wild thing, inhale. And again, hips lower on your exhale. Wherever you are, three-legged dog on your inhale. Step the left leg through, exhale. Reach the hands high, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse on your inhale. Skandasana, bend back leg, exhale. Twisted runners to the front, right hand down on your inhale. Lower the left hand, exhale. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Left knee, left elbow, or fly in splits. Hold it there. Take an inhale. Chaturanga on your exhale. Lift back, bend, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, hold your down dog, five breaths. If you prefer, you can walk the hands back to meet the feet, taking a forward fold. So we're gonna do that two full rounds. So right, left, right, left. With the wild things, you don't need to always go into wild thing. You can just bend the knee, stack the hip. With that flying splits, you don't need to do flying splits. You can take knee to elbow. So it is two rounds, pick what works for you. I am knackered, so I am definitely not gonna be doing the more challenging options. But if you wanna push yourself today, then you know you can always take those options. When you're ready, find your way into your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Right leg lifts, inhale. Bend and lower, wild thing on your exhale. Hips high, wild thing, inhale. Lower again, exhale. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Step it through, exhale. Reach the arms, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse on your inhale. Skandasana to the back on your exhale. Twisted runners to the front, inhale. Runners lunge, exhale. Three leg dog, inhale. To the right elbow, hold it there, exhale. Take an inhale here. Chaturanga, exhale. Back bend, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg, inhale. Bend and stack or wild thing, you lower. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, you lower. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Step the foot through, exhale. Reach the hands high, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse, inhale. Skandasana, bend back leg, exhale. Twisted runners to the front on your inhale. Runners lunge, exhale. Three leg dog, inhale. To the left elbow or flying splits, you exhale. Hold it for the inhale. Chaturanga, look forward, exhale. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. One more round, right leg, inhale. Bend and lower on your exhale. Hips high, inhale. Hips down, exhale. Three leg dog, inhale. Step it through, exhale. Reach hands, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse, inhale. Skandasana to the back, exhale. Twisted runners to the front, inhale. Runners lunge, exhale. Three-legged dog on your inhale. To the right elbow, maybe you bend the elbows or fly in splits on your exhale. Hold it for your inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Lift, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg, inhale. Bend and stack or lower on your exhale. 
Wild thing, inhale. Lower again, exhale. Three-legged dog on your inhale. Step it through, exhale. Reach high, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse, inhale. Skandasana to the back, exhale. Twisted runners to the front on your inhale. Runners lunge, exhale. Three-legged dog on your inhale. To the left elbow, fly and split, so you chaturanga the arms. Hold it for your inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Back bend, inhale. Child's pose, down dog or headstand on your exhale. So you've got five breaths, have a little play. Notice any change in the breath. Downward facing dog, we'll all meet there. Taking a nice deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Okay, so the hand step or jump the feet forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pulls, reach the arms up, bend the knees. Hands to heart center, release. Stepping out with one of your legs, so you're along the long edge of your mat. Toes in, heels out, hands place on the waist, take a nice deep breath in, look to the sky. Exhale, go down halfway, so belly and chest are parallel to the floor. Notice the bum go back, see if you can bring it forward. Hands stay where they are, maybe you aeroplane the arms. More challenging option is bring the biceps by the ears, fingertips forward. So work with whichever one feels right for you. Keeping it there for two. Gaze down towards the floor for one. Lower the hands down towards your mat. Walk the fingertips in line with the feet, keeping the toes in, the heels slightly out. See if you can push the belly through the legs and you're rotating the sit bones as if you're shining the sit bones to the sky. Using a little bit of force from the hands to pull the shoulders in and under. Holding it here, feel that lovely stretch on the hamstrings. Weight forward if you can't quite feel it or if you want more. And release. Hands walk back. Hands on the, on the waist. Inhale to slowly rise up all of the way. Heel toe the feet out wider. Toes go out, heels go in. As wide as you can get. Take a skandasana, bending into that back leg. So whichever one that is for you, back leg bends. See if you can lift the front toes off the floor. If it's too intense, hands on the ground. You want to push that back knee out to the side. Sit bones down, maybe the chest is lifted. If you have the balanced palms together. Just keeping it here for two, for one. Through centre you rise on an inhale, take it to your front leg on an exhale. Skandasana again, so one leg is always going to feel different to the other. Ooh, little wobble, see if you can stay. Just for two, for one. Rise up again, straighten the legs, toes in, heels out, hands on the waist, take an icy breath, and then forward fold, hands down onto the ground. Option, just do the variation we did before, pull in the body in. Option two, hands on the backs of the legs. Option three, little teddy bear headstand, so if you can get the crown of the head to the floor, maybe you lift the feet up. You can either keep the feet wide, point or flex the feet. Maybe you make that butterfly position. Maybe you want to extend the legs up. Good time to pause the video if you are playing with your headstand. 
even if you just pause it for 30 seconds, have a little bit more of a play. Let the legs lower down if you are lifted, finding that wide legged fold. Walk the hands to your back leg, come into a runner's lunge. So you might not be facing the screen anymore, that's all good. Untuck the toes, lift the shoulders up towards the ears and then reach the fingertips down towards the ground. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades in, shining the chest up to the sky, holding it there for five breaths. As if you had weight on the fingertips, the fingertips wanted to reach the floor. Lifting the body up, lizard pulls, palms go over to the, the opposite side of the mat to your foot. Lift the back knee up and heel toe that foot over to the edge. Nice and strong in the palms, fingertips spread super wide. You can either look down or if you want a little bit more, think chest lifts, gaze lifts, hips down towards the floor. By all means, stay still or have a little bit of movement. I like to rock in little circles or forward and back. Just rolling on the ball of my back foot. Heel toeing that foot back through center. Finding a high lunge. So reaching your arms up nice and strong. Open it wide, warrior two, drop that back heel. Flip that front hand, reverse your warrior. And then rise back up, wide legged forward fold. Pivot the toes in, pivot the heels out. Hands on the waist lengthen. Slide the hands down the legs. Last forward fold, maybe you interlace the fingers behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades in, lift them up and over. Releasing the hands down, pivot towards your front foot, finding your low lunge, drop the back knee, untuck the toes. That knee is above that front ankle, lift the shoulders towards the ears, inhale, and then reach the fingertips down towards the floor on an exhale. Chest lifts high, gaze is high, reach the fingertips all the way down. Rising up, find your lizard pose. Hands over to one side, heel toe the foot over to the other. Back knee rises up, gaze down or hips down, gaze forward. Take one more breath in your lizard, nice and strong in the hands and the arms. Heel to win that foot back in, fine in your high lunge. Reach the arms up super solid with the legs. A warrior two, open it wide, drop the back heel. Flip the front hand, reverse your warrior. And then rise up, come into that star shape to the side of the mat. And then we'll step to the top. Big toes together to touch, working our way down to the ground. Inhale to reach the arms up, look towards the sky, back bend if you want. Forward fold, hands down. Lengthen on your inhale. Chaturanga on your exhale. Back bend, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Take the gaze towards the top of the mat, step or jump the feet through, find a seat. Extend the legs out in front, reach the arms up nice and high, forward fold, exhale for five breaths. So keeping the shoulders back, belly to the thigh, find length in the spine.
rising up, bending into the legs, lowering the spine down onto the mat, taking a happy baby. So you can either just catch hold of the knees, the shins, the outside edge of the feet if you can reach. 10 breaths here, either in stillness or you sway from side to side, depending on what you need. And in that happy baby, you wanna imagine the knees going out so the knees will reach the floor. Maybe you wanna close the eyes. Taking a couple more breaths. Then extending the legs up. So you've got two choices. Option one, legs 90 degrees, soles of the feet shine towards the sky. Option two, you can lift them up and over for either a shoulder stand where the legs are straight, the hips, the knees and the ankles are in a nice straight line. Or if you just wanna go straight into a plow pose, some people prefer this pose, more relaxing, less energy needed to stay straight. You can bend the legs if you want. You can just let the knees relax, support the legs if you need. Five breaths wherever you are. And then release. Rolling the spine down. Taking about five breaths to make any movements that you need to to the body before we end our vinyasa practice. Super short, super sweet. But you still deserve that shavasana. So when you are ready, Legs extend out. If you prefer recline butterfly position for your Shavasana, then take it. Traditionally, arms go beside the body, tops of the hands on the floor, but if you want arms out wide or one on the belly, one on the heart, then that's absolutely fine as well. Taking a deep breath in to lift the chest up a little higher and then exhale, let it out. Another opportunity maybe to pause the video if today you feel like you want a little bit of a longer Shavasana. Over the next five breaths, Starting to deepen your breath, gradually. And start to wiggle your fingers and toes. And taking your full body stretch. Squeeze the thighs towards the belly, lift the head and rock up into a seated position. Face in the front of the room or towards your screen. Hands together towards the heart center. Nice cleansing breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. Thank you so much for joining me with your practice today. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.